So as y'all can see, we can't do anything here, y'all. So this is where they had set up for people to, you know, sit. So the media would have made it sound like he had over 400 people. Mm -mm. It wasn't even that, that many people when I came here. So I came out yonder on Main, 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 Main Street and I drove in when it parked over there. They didn't even have a lot of people here at all to begin with. No. Maybe 150 to max 200. Like that's, that includes security and the people that they pay to come in here and do, you know, like a little, you know, show and things like that. So no. But it took less than 10 minutes and they broke them down. Look at that, y'all. That's it. And this is where he was going to be standing. Um, there is an American flag though, so that I'll take and obviously my big old Texas flag. But he was going to be standing right there and this is where everybody was going to be sitting. And um, that's it. That don't look like it's a lot of people. Do you hear me? Look, this is it right here. I can actually have my child's birthday party in this park. <laughs> and this is where Mayor P, the failed mayor of South Bend, Indiana, my home state of Indiana, this is where he was going to have his rally. And of course, the media was going to kind of, you know, zoom in to make it look like he had a lot of people here, but no, he did not. Their faces are kind of sad, y'all. I mean, in less than 10 minutes, they're all gone. They're gone. I talked to three, three kids right here that they want to be in the, um, um, you know, vi video for their privacy. They only came here just to kind of hear what he had to say. These kids are not even old enough to vote, which is a good thing. But I was like, this is great for y'all, you know, trying to get yourselves um, educated, getting your yourself involved in what it takes, you know, for this whole political, you know, deal. But isn't it amazing, y'all? Pete Buttigieg dropped out of the 2020 presidential election race. I wonder why it took him so long. I can tell you why. It was all about the money. The longer you keep in the race, people give you five bucks and ten bucks and, you know, twenty dollars or so. That stuff adds up and then you can get to keep some of that money yourself. So this is why they drop. I mean, they stay in there. He's, he's staying there just as long as he could get rich. <laughs> At least for the love of Christ. Pete Buttigieg does not get to educate me, a woman, on abortion, okay? Pete Buttigieg does not get to tell me that um, because he was in the, uh, the military, whatever branch he served in automatically qualify him to be a president. It doesn't work that way, Pete. It doesn't work that way. Y'all, isn't it an amazing Tom Steyer drop out yesterday and today may your Pete Buttigieg, boogie, 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 Judge drop out. But that's it. Now, not look. Ten minutes, it's gone down. Let me tell you what happened at the Trump rally, okay? This place right here would be where people would have to stand to go use the bathroom. I've been to one. These things are massive. Look at it. Look at it. Nothing. Imagine President Trump goes out there and cancel a campaign rally in downtown Dallas, and then everybody is gone in less than ten minutes. Like poof. That tells you he didn't have a lot of people. You know, I'm kind of mad because I have I paid 10 bucks a park just to see this here. <laughs> Y'all, this is so great. These people face look they're kind of sad. These kids told me um, they did not believe in him, they didn't trust him, they didn't know he was gonna win. But they only came just to be a part of the experience. That's it. That's it. But Pete Bada Josh is out. He's gone. He's gone, y'all. He's gone. Go back to South Bend and try to fix it, Pete. Go back to South Bend, Indiana, that you actually took down the drain. Try to fix it. Okay? Go back to my home state of Indiana, my city of South Bend, and fix it. Try to work and fix it because you brought a lot of misery. A lot of misery on the people of South Bend, Indiana. You can try to take your quote-unquote leadership skills back to South Bend and fix it. But this is it. There's not much. This is better for you guys. And CNN would have told you, Mayor Pete is in South Bend. Um, he's in um, um, Dallas, Texas. He's got this huge rally. There are people everywhere. No lie. No. No, no, not today. Uh-uh, uh-uh.
Felicia by. Not working. Look at this here. That's it. This is pitiful. That is absolutely sad. Yo, look, the people are gone. Look at that. That's it. So as I was walking in here, I saw these black boys, amazing, amazing, amazing black boys. They were paid to come out here and actually play. You know, now they're complaining because the campaign hasn't paid them, literally. And I was like, uh, they didn't know why everything was canceled. I said, well, he just dropped out of the race. Oh, they didn't tell us that. And I'm like, of course. And I said, well, if they, if they told you they were going to pay, you better go get your money. This is business. Okay. They had these black people to come out here and play. To come out here and play for Pete but a judge. Pete Boogie 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 Judge. And now his campaign don't want to pay them because they canceled. What if they tell them they canceled? They not tell them why they had to cancel the rally. And I, I had to tell, tell them, I'm like, oh, guess what? He dropped out. He's going back to South Bend, Indiana, where he actually destroyed. He ain't going to be president at all. So now here you go. I had to tell these black boys, go get your pay. It's a business deal and you go get your money. This is the free market, y'all. In socialist America, he, they wouldn't be saying that. <laughs> I'm like, we are still in the free market society in America, okay? AKA capitalism. It works. Go get your pay. If they promised they were going to pay y'all, y'all go get your pay before you leave. In your fault, they cancel. So, brothers, y'all go give these people what they got to do to give you your money. Uh-uh, ain't no time for no shenanigans around your get paid. And their boys are like, oh, yeah, we're going to go get paid. And I'm like, you better go get paid, boy, because Pete, Pete better just gone. Y'all look at this thing. It's so sad. He couldn't even come here and address these people. Pete could not even come here and address these people. And tell them thank you for coming out here. You know where he's at? He's in some of these hotels. Yep. One of those things over there. Yep. Couldn't even come out here and tell what? 150 people. Thank you for showing up. I'm sorry, but I gotta drop out. You know what he did? He left and went to the airport to get out of here, to get a soft bend. Imagine that as a president. Imagine that as a president of the greatest nation who gets mad because he didn't get his will. He didn't get what he or she wanted. Man, it must suck to be a Pete Buttigieg supporter right now. Ask me, for me as a Trump supporter, I kind of went under disguise. I didn't show anything. But I sure am glad, y'all. This is fun. This is fun. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. I'm Victoria. Agnes. Hi. Nice to meet you, Agnes. Uh, Daniel, they're taking this up. We gotta go. Uh, yeah. Gotta go. yeah. Okay. Um, we're student reporters with the University of North Texas. Would you mind if we just did a quick interview about please, what please? Please. Right. Let's actually. We had to go over there. Let me go. Okay, real quick. I I'm gonna go do a quick interview with these amazing, you know, um, students. But anyways, Pete Butterjohn's dropout. He sucked. Have a great day.